music. What is it? I think I can read your mind. You think that music is an art, form of expression, and something special that you can touch or discover. It's like a signal from space, and it's something about us. But here I am to prove that you are wrong, and to prove that music is just a mess. Spoiler. I'm not a professional musician or a scientist, but I'm really obsessed with these two things. Math is my major university, and music actually has been playing guitar for five years. Probably you picture me as a math nerd who plays guitar just to compensate for communication skills. But unfortunately, I'm not so good at math to be this kind of guy. To start, Let's look at Wikipedia. It says that music is an art of arranging sounds. Here's the question, how we can arrange them? But before answering so deep question, let's clarify what sound is. In fact, sound is just an acoustic wave that looks approximately like this. I know that you imagine sounds to have more romantic form Sad but true. Sounds has an amplitude which shows how high our wave goes and it corresponds to the loudness of the sound. Another more important feature for us is the frequency of the sounds. It shows how often a certain pattern repeats. Basically, the more frequency, the higher sound, and vice versa. But there is no instrument in the world that can produce such a perfect wave. To tell the truth, there is no perfect wave in nature at all. The thing is, in nature, waves do not vary entirely. They vary in every part of the wave. I understand that for you it may sound like a gibberish. That is why I got pictures for you. It means that halves, third, quarters, etc. vary apart from the main part. All the small segments are also create sound, but with different frequency. All the sounds are called overtones. They are not overcomplicated, they are just overtones. It may sound strange that if you play only one note on any instrument, we get a bunch of them. We literally got a chord. Terminology alert! Chord is a three or more musical tones played simultaneously. Uh, I feel that it's time for me to took off my nerd glasses and stop being so academic. Anyway, I'm convinced that you all guys can distinguish guitar from piano by ear. Do you know why? It's due to overtones, because all instrument has a unique set of overtones. By the way, talking about perfect waves without overtones. With technology, we can recreate the sounds of it. It sounds like this. We can feel how artificial it sounds. So never, never judge by appearance, especially sounds. So let's get back to our plots. Overtones are essential in our topic, but we still need to get only one wave from all of them. So what we will do? We will just sum them up. By summarizing the waves, we get this squiggle that is unpleasant for our eyes, but surprise, it's still pleasant for our ears. How is it possible? The answer is, pattern is still recognizable for our brain, and it repeats quite often. In math, this pattern is called a period. It means that if you go right by the wave out of screen, you will see the same squiggle, the same pattern. The less period, better it sounds for our brain. I feel how I'm losing your attention right now, but stay with me. Big reveals are still ahead. 
I have a question for you. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. What is it? If you answer letters, you probably haven't felt the trick. Because all of these letters are actually notes. What do these notes mean? Let's delve into it by using the guitar. If you play a fifth string on the guitar, you will have an A note of a small octave. It means that your string vibrates at the frequency of 220 Hz. Another A note, one octave higher, is 440 Hz. The second A note is considered to be an etalon note. People just said it, let it be. All other frequency of the notes are built around this A note. Basically, note is just a symbolic representation of the sound, of frequency of the sound. Here you can see the frequency of other notes. Actually, you have to memorize them if you want to play music. I'm kidding, most of musicians don't know even about this table. But one sound is a rookie example. Let's take a look at the interval. Terminology alert! In music, the distance between two notes is called an interval. We will consider it as the two notes played simultaneously. For instance, let's listen to it. Sounds like one sound, but it's actually two. What about this one? Sound quite heroic. Next one. Also quite pleasant. But what about this one? Or this? Do you feel dissonance? Do you know why? A long time ago, people thought that it's, that it's bad interval as sounds of devil. It's been a while and we are not kids, we understand that devil doesn't have time for that. But anyway, all these feelings can be easily explained. That is what actually I will do. It's not so hard to explain this interval. It's called an octave and we hear it as the same sounds. Indeed. There is the same note, but the second note is one octave higher, one loop higher. Here is the regularity. The frequency of the notes that is one octave higher is two times more. As far as we can see, the periods of these notes are not the same, but the ratio is exactly 2, 1. It means that the, sum, that the periods of the sum of this wave will be relatively small. Moreover, the overtones of these notes are the same, so we do not hear any difference. To explain other intervals, we have to dip into some nitty-gritty details. So let's get back to our pretty instrument. The first string, the thinnest one, will give us an E note. And if we put our finger on the 12th fret of the same string, we also got an E note. We kind of made the whole loop and get back to our initial note. Important point that this is precisely the half of our string. Alert! Now I will dig into some math. So by moving one fret forward, we shorten our string in some number. Let's call this number X. The next E note on 12 frets. So we multiply x 12 times and we got x in power of 12. As far as we reduce the size of our string twice, we got the equation x in power of 12 equals 2. So x equals to the 12th root of 2, which is the same as 2 in power of 1 over 12. Surprise! It turned out that 
Many people don't know there are some other roots except of square root. It was emotional damage for me. Basically, what does this equation mean? It means that by moving one thread forward, we reduce the size of our string in this number. Or more general, that by moving one semitone up, we increase the frequency of our string in the same number. Here is it, the moment of truth. Let's take a closer look at the interval that was pleasant for us. As far as we can see, the distance between these two nodes is 7. We take our formula and replace 1 with 7. And look what we got. I'm sure you notice that this number is extremely close to 1.5, which can be simplified to 3 over 2. Basically, it's a ratio between frequencies of our nodes. It means that when you sum our waves, you get relatively small period. This period we got by taking 3 times the period of the first wave and 2 times of the second one. And as I mentioned before, the shorter period, the easier for our brain to acknowledge it. What about bad intervals? For instance, Triton, the devil intervals. It sounds like this. Quite unpleasant one. So what we got here? The distance is 6, so we have 2 in power 6 over 12. And we have, basically we have just the square root of 2. I'm sure this root you definitely know. And this number is close to 1.41, which is extremely close to the ratio 7 over 5. Even intuitively, 7 over 5 doesn't look so beautiful as 3 over 2. If we compute these two waves, we get a huge period, because we took 7 times in the first period and 5 in the second one. Our brain is just too lazy to calculate such a hard ratio, so he marked this interval as a bad interval and forgets about it. By the way, do you remember I said that the frequency of the same note, but one octave higher, is 2 times more? Here's the evidence of it. The distance between these two nodes is precisely 12, which means that if we put it in our formula, we just get 2. If you are still tuned, I admire your patient, and if you fell asleep, it's time to wake up and find another TED talk. All in all, I, I agree that it would be silly to believe that music consists only of mass. Of course it doesn't. Music is way more deeper matter. But always remember that whenever your favorite artist releases a new track, even and purposely, he uses this root of two. Thank you.